friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I have a really fun day planned for us today. Some great food, a fantastic dinner recipe. It's going to be just a fantastic day. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you really like these what I eat in a day videos. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed or you're new, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe and you ring the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I'm pretty close to my goal of hitting 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year and it's vlogmas so you don't want to miss a single video make sure you're checking out that description box down below for nutrition coaching I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation and one-on-one -on -one sessions for coaching in 30 and 60 minute increments so there's a little bit of something for everyone so definitely check that out and PS it makes a great gift also you'll find links and discount codes to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group Head on over and join us. I have lots of good things in store moving into the new year. So let's jump into a what I eat in a day on WW. morning you saw me put together my apples these are two very small honey crisp apples on my food scale I weighed out one tablespoon of the wild friends sugar cookie peanut butter this is so good on apples and I just drizzled that over the top two egg bites from last week's meal prep and of course my first water of the day our goal is a gallon down my breakfast is four points for the two egg bites they're two smart points a piece of course zero for the apple and three points for the tablespoon of nut butter so this is seven smart points for my breakfast does anyone else's dog like to lay outside in the snow hi buddy I'm gonna have a morning snack it's about 10 o'clock so what I have here is one cup of the simple truth low-fat cottage cheese that is three smart points I topped it with a couple of very small persimmons if you haven't tried persimmons on cottage cheese it's really delicious so that's three smart points and then I'm going to have half of a bottle of kombucha this is the golden pineapple for one smart point so my snack is four points I just refilled my second jug of water so here is where I am I'm almost to the halfway done mark and it's 10 a.m. my goal is to have this water done by lunch along with my kombucha so I will link this water bottle the gallon down below I'm loving adding the lemons to it the night before it just adds tons of flavor to your water so this is my four smart point snack here is my lunch for today a huge salad I'm so excited 
I had my splurge day yesterday or my treat meal, so I need some greens in my life. So I made this huge salad. I am working on number two of my water. So I just have some spring mix, some organic spring mix. And then I do have a few of the Trader Joe's dried bean cherries. These are unsweetened. There's no added sugar. So I do not count points for these. I do not count points for dried food, fruit with no added sugar. So I added just a few of those. You can kind of see those on here to my salad. I also added some of the Nutstop Sun Dried Tomatoes. These are some of the best sun-dried tomatoes. I do have 10% off and free shipping with Nutstop. Not an affiliate link. I just work with them. I like to partner with them because they're a small business, super affordable. It's a great time to support small business. And they have everything you would need from baking ingredients to chocolates, things to put on your table at Christmas, pretty much everything. So definitely check out Nutstop down below. I also have two tablespoons of the Salad Topper Crispy Onions for one point. Six of the Kid Fresh White Meat Chicken Nuggets. And then for dressing, I did three tablespoons of the Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch. So that's my salad. It looks amazing. I'm excited for it. I'm not a big fan of this dressing because it has carrageenan, but I really wanted ranch. So that's all we had. That's what I used. And I did measure everything out here on my Red Rock food scale. I do get a lot of questions on this. I love this. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And once again, the air fryer I use for my nuggets is my little Copper Chef. I also love this, so I'll link it for you guys as well. But that's going to be my lunch for today. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I'm about to hop on a Zoom call with my 90 day Christmas challenge group. Stay tuned you guys for information for the next challenge coming out in January. But I decided to go ahead and whip up a quick protein shake. So I have one point's worth of this Forager organic cashew milk. This is my very, very favorite milk. It's all gone. So I definitely need to get a restock. I did go ahead and pop in about half to three quarters of a frozen banana. And then I'm, this is kind of the star of the show. This is the Orgain organic protein in peppermint hot cocoa. This is the seasonal flavor from Orgain. It is in Incredible. It literally tastes like peppermint hot chocolate. You can even mix this in with some warm milk and literally have protein packed hot chocolate. So I did go ahead and put two scoops in. That's 140 calories, three smart points, but has 21 grams of protein. So this is a seasonal flavor. I will link Orgain down below. I do have a discount code for them. Grab this. It was inexpensive and it's really, really truly delicious. So I'm just going to blend this up and that's going to be my four smart point afternoon snack three for the protein powder one for the milk all right so here it is this is a pretty big cup so that is my afternoon snack so let's get on a zoom call so good you guys seriously get this protein powder before it's gone it is so good it legit is peppermint hot cocoa for dinner tonight, I'm making tater tot casserole. I'm so excited for this. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need Worcestershire sauce, a can of corn and a can of green beans, cream of mushroom soup, salt. You can do minced onion or go ahead and slice up a fresh onion, garlic powder, one pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, of course, some tater tots and some light shredded cheese. So let's get started on dinner. To a large skillet, go ahead and add your pound of ground beef. You're going to want to use a large skillet because we're going to be adding the majority of our ingredients to that skillet. So go ahead and break up your ground beef and then we are going to season it with some salt, garlic powder, and minced onion or fresh onion, whatever you're using. your hamburger until it is completely brown. If there's any grease, which generally there's not with 96%, go ahead and drain that as well. Once your hamburger is cooked all the way through, go ahead and add your can of drained green beans. Definitely rinse them if there is salt added. And your can of drained corn. 
your can of cream of mushroom soup. And last, but certainly not least, we are adding one half of a cup of the light shredded cheese. Stir that all together and let it simmer on the stove for just a couple of minutes. We're going to spread the beef mixture into a nine by 13 lightly greased baking dish. I forgot to add in the Worcestershire sauce. So I went ahead and just drizzled it right over the top of the beef mixture and that'll still bring in the flavor. And then we are going to add 16 ounces of tater tots. This is a 32 ounce bag. So we wanna put one half of the bag of tater tots just arranged nicely on top of the beef mixture. And then we are going to sprinkle the remaining half of a cup of light cheese right over the top. There you go. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use a light cheese or when I used to use fat-free cheese, it never ever melted. So I actually heard on Coleman Health WW, I'll put that here on the screen for you. They recommended spraying your fat-free cheese or in my case, light cheese with some cooking spray and supposedly that is supposed to help it melt. So we are going to give our cheese a quick spray, pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. So the other night I roasted some parsnips in the oven. These are like a carrot fry. They kind of remind me of a carrot. They kind of remind me of potato. They're really delicious. So we roasted these up in the oven and then I also just roasted some beets. I love beets, Troy does not but I love them. So these are left over. So I think I'm going to pop these in my air fryer and crisp them up again. And we will have these as a vegetable for tonight's dinner. And look who joined us. Oh, hi, bud. Are you joining me in the kitchen? First, I'm gonna start with the parsnips. And again, same air fryer I used for lunch, my little copper chef. I usually always set everything at 400 and then I just watch it. When the parsnips are done, I'm gonna pop my beets in. Tater tot casserole is done. So you can see the cheese definitely melts better when you spray it with a little nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to let this sit for just a couple of minutes. It makes eight servings total. I'll be back to show you a serving, give you points and calories. So here is dinner. I have the leftover air fried warmed up beets and parsnips. And then I have one eighth of the tater tot casserole. So that's quite a good amount. It is eight smart points per serving the parsnips and the beets are zero. So my dinner is eight points. Water for the day, check. For dessert, I'm going to have one half of the Peanut Butter Delight Jojo's Chocolate. These are so good. They are huge, the bars, and they are seven points for the whole bar, but you can have half of it for only three. It's really good chocolate. It's filled with peanut butter. Great, excellent, perfect ingredients. It's guilt-free, so good. So I will link JoJo's down below for you guys. If you're interested in ordering from them, uh, you can order directly off their website. They always have great sales and promotions, so I'll link it down below, but I'm going to have one half of a bar. Here's what the bars look like, just for reference. So they are pretty good size, so a half is plenty. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed today's video, kind of coming along with me and that amazing dinner recipe you're definitely going to want to make that for your family. It was really, really good. If you enjoyed today's video, please thumbs up this video. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss a video during Vlogmas. So hit the bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload. Again, in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. So definitely check out that description box down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas video. Bye. See you